Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. Today we will be discussing the taxonomical hierarchical classification of protozoans. That is the microbe which is present in the kingdom protozoa. So this video will be completely detailing the classification and the taxonomy of protozoa based on the latest edition that is fourth edition of veterinary parasitology by M. A. Taylor and R. L. Cope. So this is the taxonomical hierarchy that is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So introductory part that is all protozoans are coming under the kingdom protozoa. So the kingdom protozoa, they come under the kingdom protozoa. And the protozoa kingdom has got mainly six phylum of veterinary importance. That is, we have to study six phylum in this course. That is, protozoa of veterinary importance. So, the phylums are listed below. That is, phylum amoebozoa, phylum euglenozoa, phylum parabezella, phylum fornicata, phylum apicomplexa, phylum ciliophora. So, these are the six phylum which is having veterinary importance. So the first phylum is Amoebozoa, phylum Amoebozoa. So it has got a class Archamoeba or Archamoeba and order Amoebida and the family is Entamoebidae and the genus is Entamoeba. We have to study about Entamoeba, Histolytica and the, uh, the species, the characters, the morphological and all. So we'll be, this is the basic classification under phylum Amoebozoa. So moving to the second phylum that is phylum Euglenozoa. It has got a class that is Kinetoplasta and in the class there is order Trypanosomatida. Trypanosomatida. And in that order there is a family Trypanosomatidae. And the genus in the family are Trypanosoma and Leishmania. So second phylum complete. And the third phylum that is phylum Parabacella. It has got a class Trichomonadia. Trichomonadia. And the order is Trichomonadida. And in this order, there is mainly two families. That is family 1 is Trichomonadidae. It has got the genus Trichomonas. And the second family is Dientemo, di, pardon, Dientemobidae. That is genus Histomonas. Next phylum, that is fourth phylum is Phylum Fornicata. The main class in this phylum is Metamonadia. And the order is Giardida and the family is Giardidae and the genus is Giardia. The class name, the order name seems to be a little bit difficult but we have to study. Uh, everybody will be making mistakes like which I have made. So moving to the fifth phylum that is Phylum Celiophora. Phylum Celiophora. It has got the class Lithostomatia and the order is Trichostomatorida. And the family is Balantidae. Genus is Balantidium. Balantidium is a very important genus. So, moving to the largest phylum in the protozoa, that is phylum Epicomplexa. And this is very important phylum in case of exam purpose and also in case of field purpose. So, it has got two classes, that is, first class and second class. The classes are class Conoidacida and Econoidacida. Conoidacida and Econoidacida. So that is class Conoidacida. They, it has got the order Eucoxidiorida. Eucoxidiorida. And it has got four family of interest. That is, first family is Imeridae. Second family is Cryptosporididae. Third family is Sarcosistidae. Fourth family is Hepatozoidae. So uh, you can see the genus name that is Aimeria, Isospora and Cyclospora comes under Aimeridae. Cryptosporidium comes under Cryptosporidae. Toxoplasma, Sarcosistis, and Neospora caninum that all comes under Sarcosistidae. The fourth is Hepatozoidae that is Hepatozoom. The next class under Apicomplex of Phylum is Econoidacida. It has got mainly two order of interest. That is order one that is Chemospororida. Hemospororida and the family Plasmodidae comes under Hemospororida and the family Plasmodidae has got the genus that is Plasmodium, Leucocytosome, Hemoprotease, etc. And the second order is 
Pyroplasmorida. And it has got two main important family that is Babesidae for Babesia and Thaleridae for Thaleria. So, more details will be included in the upcoming video. This is just a classification video to clear the doubts on the hierarchical arrangement of the protozoans. So, this video was completely made uh, by looking the veterinary parasitology by M.A. Taylor and R.L. Cook, 4th edition. So, if you are having any doubt, please, you can put in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell button. Thank you.